ladies and gentlemen and everybody who is watching this video and welcome back to the next episode of Kintori Dreams. Um, as I know it's been a while since um, I uploaded Artemis um, and that's because Artemis took me absolutely forever to make. Like literally it took me ages almost two weeks total um including scripting and everything which is the first video i've done in that style and if you want more videos like that well just ask me because um i in i definitely enjoyed making the artemis cinematic um and yes um so i'm sorry i've been just off youtube for a bit but, of course, you know, the holidays are a whole thing in themselves. And, you know, Christmas is coming up the day after tomorrow, as of recording the voiceover. And, I think, as of posting the video. Um, but here, as you can see, what is happening right now is I'm reloading a save. Because the drop pod kept not working. And, for some reason, it just ran out of ablator. So I used hyper edit to um, add a blater, which was useful. Um, and so here we've started to go down through the atmosphere, a very powerful re-entry, but it starts off actually quite shallow. Um, we've landed quite, we're going quite close to the other drop pod, the one you saw at the end of Artemis. So. You, I think you probably can, you know, remember in Artemis' episode, um, I talked about Artemis having a second phase to its mission, Find Life. Now, this phase isn't limited to Narath. We will actually, next episode, be doing a grand tour of the Proximus Kirvani system, probably split into two parts because it's an entire system grand tour so you know it's quite the thing so in the meantime we've begun with um getting our pod ready these pods are designed to be in pairs of two there are six pods total and as i said pairs of two um and they'll be designed to be landed close to each other and these are um, for refining. They are universal refineries designed to refine essentially any material out of ore. But as you can see, the engines have fired on my little stage and we have opened the huge heat shield. You'll be seeing a lot of that today because every single module is essentially structured like this. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to make a um, bit more interesting episode. This is, this needed to happen. And I thought for once I'd actually put on screen the fact that I do, actually do the hard things. I'm not a little cheapskate who doesn't do anything. I actually do the things that are really hard. And yes, this was a very boring thing for me to do. I was just watching YouTube in the background. Um, luckily I can, my mini player doesn't show up on OBS, which is really good. Um, anyway, here we're leaving the Artemis, and we got a light, quick little shot. There are some pretty nice shots of us leaving the Artemis at some point later in the episode, I seem to remember. Um, but as you can see here, we're flying over the surface, and you even got to see the Aurora, um of you even got to see the aurora for a second i have most of kintori dreams plotted out um and yeah so i've got a fairly good structure for the rest of the series um and but well really that will kick off once we do said grand tour that i'm talking about um which i'm so excited for trust me um, like, you know, it's a whole grand, it's a grand tour of a system I've never been in, and I really would like to see how it goes. But 
But in the meantime, we're getting the nice little shot of us leaving the Artemis and of very wobbly, in a very wobbly fashion, flying away from the Artemis. And look at that. Our heat shield has saved us from the Harrows of Reentry. We always, I always seem to do these landings in two attempts because, you know, it's actually fairly hard to land these guys. Um, but there we are. Another module is landed on the surface. And so we swap back to the Artemis and we, of course, get ready. We launch the second wave of pods. These are the mining pods. Which refine, which mine and refine. Um, very useful, of course. Well, they mine. The ISIU are the ones that refine. But we got a lovely shot of us leaving the Artemis back just then. Um, yeah, that was something that I pretty enjoyed. And plus, the Artemis, I have to say, looks cooler now that most of the fuel tanks are off. The Artemis looks all sleek and cool, um, with the central propulsion block really showing its beauty. And, well, we slowly drift down with the absolutely terrible FPS I was getting. And I have a pretty good computer. Um, so I don't know why I was just getting such absolutely terrible frames. But this, but this landing, we actually managed to get in one go, which was pretty neat. Um, and yeah, we've just managed to get to the other spot. Um, and here we are, back at the Artemis, ready to launch the second probe. Um, just waiting for a bit. I can't remember what I was doing right here. Um. But as you can see, the frames per second is bad, even on a freaking record, even sped up. Um, which, you know, goes to show. Um, but, you know, just waiting here, um, as we slowly go into the dump. Um, yeah, so I have got the rest of the series planned out pretty well. And I'm going to say this right now. There's going to be a second generation interstellar spacecraft before the series ends. Tr and trust me, I am looking forward to doing that. Um, I've already begun designing it. And, um, you know, it will be quite fun. Because I've also found out the best way of building spacecraft. And no, it's not. Um, it's actually not. Uh, what's, what's it called? Uh, uh, extra planetary launch pads. Um, it's not extra planetary launch pads. It's actually Kerbal Constructs. Because, actually, because I'm playing in science mode, it doesn't cost me anything to open Curl Construct bases on other planets. And I can build them on any planet I want, which is pretty cool. And so I plan to build a launch site around the moon. So, yeah. Some people may call it cheaty. And to those people, I seriously don't care. I'm doing what I want. Um, and yes, well, we've got the module over here and I'm landing it a bunch of times to make it upright. <coughs> and well, we're swapping back to the Artemis up here. Um, now, one thing that I'm actually quite um, happy about is the space planes. Um, it, the Artemis has got three Condor Omens, I seem to remember they're called. Yes, Omen Condor Omens. And um, yeah, they are pretty nice crew condors. Um, they can't ferry that many crew. Um, they can only ferry four, I seem to remember. Um, because I developed them quite early um, and I hadn't built the Rosman SSTO yet, which 
currently is the best SSTO I had, and that you saw at the beginning of Artemis. Yeah, is it, and I think you might have seen it, it's very big, it's biggest SSTO I've, been, I've built in quite a while. Um, and I designed it off um, Beardy Penguins, um, IV Corey, yes it was. Um, yeah, I designed it off that, um, but with my own modifications and I think a bit of a sleeker design. Um, and as we fly through the clouds here, um, and the engines fire, parachutes out, and well, we begin the landing, the final landing sequence. Yeah, so that's all I have for you.